In this video, I'll show you how to get started using Transana. We will look at how to create your own database, add your video or audio files, and begin transcribing and creating clips. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search for Transana. Transana is already installed on my machine, so on a Mac I can go up to the magnifying glass and type in Transana. Or if you're on a Windows machine, you can access Transana from the Start menu. Now after you have set up Transana, you will be asked to select a database. If this is the first time you've set up Transana, you may also be asked to choose your language. After you choose your language, we will select a database. The database field may be empty, or it may contain a list of previous databases if you've used Transana a couple times, as you can see over here on the right. To create a new database, you can delete the information that is currently in this box. It does not delete your database. And I can type in a new name for my uh, project or database. Now when you're creating your, your name, it cannot have any spaces. It needs to be seen as one word. So you, what I use are underscores to separate my words. And then I click OK. Now currently he's asking me, do you want to create this database because it currently does not exist? I will say yes. And now I've started my Transana project with a brand new database. On the right hand side, I can add a series. And a series is where you can hold all of your raw video or audio for your qualitative research. Everything in Transana on this data window uh, has a right click functionality. So this means when I right click on series, I get add series. And this will be maybe the container or folder that will hold all my videos from one site or from one interview interviewee. So I can put in the person's name. And there can be spaces in the session ID. Everything else you can leave blank. So I'll click OK. And now I've created a new series. And think of series kind of like uh, your favorite TV shows. When you're watching your favorite TV show, it comes with multiple videos. So under any one series can be as many videos as you need. And then for every video or show that you watch within that series, there's also a transcript that actors act from. So for uh, uh, every video, you'll have at least one transcript. You could actually have multiple transcripts, and I will show you that later. So I've made my series for John Doe, and this is where I'm housing all my interviews that I've conducted with John Doe. So I'm gonna right click on John Doe's name, and I can add an episode, which again, an episode is one audio or video file. In some cases, you may have multiple audio or video files if you use multiple recorders. So if you used four video cameras at the same time to record one interview, you would have four different viewpoints. You can add all four into this media. Now Transana will accept up to four. So now I've did add episode. I can leave the episode ID blank. The first thing I want to do is click add file. And once I click add file, it will take me to my video directory. If yours does not, you may need to set up your video, video directory, and you can learn how to do that in one of our other movies. So now that I've navigated to my video directory, I would choose the video for my John Doe. And now you'll notice episode ID has automatically been filled in with the file name of the video. And then I can click OK. And after I click OK, Transana automatically asks for a transcript. Here you'll type in the name of your transcript. So this could be a verbatim transcript. It could be a gesture transcript. Just something so you can identify it if you're going to have multiple transcripts connected to one video file. A transcriber you can fill out, especially if you're going to be having multiple people work on this project. And if you've already transcribed your videos, you can import an RTF file into Transana. So right now, I'm not going to import. I'm just going to create a blank transcript. And now I will click OK. All right, so you can see now the video has loaded into Transana with a blank transcript on the left. The first thing I need to do to begin editing is click on the Edit button. If I don't, it won't let me actually type into Transana. So I'll click on the Edit. 
And the very next thing I will do is insert a time code. I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut Control and T at the same time. And this will insert a time code, which is that red dot. And if you turn on the Show Time Codes button, you can see that it's at 00. zero. You can also turn this off. I insert a time code to kind of paste my transcript to my video. So now I can begin typing away at my transcript. I recommend that you look at the Transana Shortcuts PDF. They'll have the key combinations for how to navigate within Transana. So for example, if I want to play my video, I can hit Control D and my video begins playing. Now I can stop the video with Control D. I can also navigate 10 seconds forward with Control F. To show and Control D will stop it again. And I can navigate 10 seconds back with Control A. And the video will begin playing from 10 seconds previous. And if I hit Control D to stop again. And I can also navigate 2 seconds backwards with Control S. And it goes backwards. Another keyboard shortcut that you could use a lot are Control period and Control comma. Control period, you can speed up the video. So I'm going to play it. Have a way to show how your plants and with control comma, I can slow down my video. So slowing down or speeding up the video could help you in the transcription process. I hope this is a video that can help you get started using Transana right away. Look at our other videos to see how to do analysis, collect keywords, and create collections.